Hey, it's Sean from Tested. We are back with some more shop tips. Um, this today's tips are a little bit of a continuation from last time when we were talking about samplers um, and sample packs. Um, this is all from a particular company uh, called Proto Labs. Now, I want to make a disclaimer right away that this is not um, a endorsement of Proto Labs. I have not actively used their services. They have not paid us in any way. I just like what they're doing. So a little bit of history on these guys. Um, they started in 1999 as Proto Mold, and Proto Mold was a service which would uh, uh, offer small scale injection molding for plastics. Typically, injection molding uh, is very expensive. You have to get uh, uh, molds tooled. You have to do large runs, and pretty much anything in your household is injection molded. Any kind of housing, casing, whatever, toys are all injection molded. And they wanted to kind of bring it into the reach of your normal folks. And they were offering lower cost uh, uh, molds and services and smaller runs. And they typically had a pretty quick turnaround. Um, they were proto mold until about 2009 when they started offering uh, uh, CNC services as well. And they changed the name to Proto Labs. And they now offer CNC uh, injection molding and uh, 3D printing services on smaller scales. Um, but one of the things that they did to make this uh, reachable by your normal person is they uh, introduced all of these little sample kits and teaching tools. So for example, we have uh, the Kaleidocycle, which is this cool little toy that you actually put together yourself and it is demonstrating numerous uh, aspects of injection molding. It is demonstrating live hinges, so hinges that you have mold in. It is uh, demonstrating connectors where you snap all of these together. And it is also demonstrating uh, materials and material finishes. So each one of these triangles is a different type of material with a different type of finishing uh, uh, technique on them. So you can check it out and see what works for you and, and have a reference and be able to order this exact finish and material type, which is really cool. All right, we have the Taurus, which is another one that you assemble yourself, and it is demonstrating different aspects and design features for injection molding, such as standoffs, latches, bayonets, gears, angled standoffs, writing, and it just gives you a good design reference about how to and to not do things. And it, will, it comes with a little booklet that actually runs through uh, how much they cost, which is the cheaper one, which is the better choice for what your particular project may be. And it's just a lot of information packed into a little uh, toy that you put together yourself. Um, the very first one that I got from them was this, is this box, which once again comes flat packed. You put it together yourself. It, has, it also demonstrates different lack, latching mechanisms for injection molding and hinges. And it is basically uh, demonstrating uh, different surface finishes as well as different features and the right and wrong way to make them. So it gives examples of features that are too thick or too thin um, and different latching mechanisms which may or may not be correctly uh, designed and living hinges and like uh, how big detail should be, et cetera, for proper design of injection molding. And finally, I have probably my favorite one, which is a plastic model of an actual plastic mold. So they go through the whole process of how this injection molding may work by actually putting the piece that you get off of a real steel mold. So it has the ejection pins, which push it out. It has the actual part with the sprues on it. It has a side cam, which is a uh, mechanism for getting details on the side. And then everything is labeled on it so it demonstrates what it is and how it works. And to go with that, they, and they even released the Injection Molding for Dummies book, which is a little free book uh, that you can go through. And it gives you the rundown on how all of these design techniques work and the proper way to implement them. Um, all of these are still available at Proto Labs. I believe they are free, including the book, if you just order samples. Um, so if you just want to learn a little bit more about how that uh, works and the proper way to design things for injection molding, 
It's a fascinating subject, and even if you aren't going to use it uh, immediately, it informs uh, good 3D printing and other design methods as well. So check them out. They're a good resource if you want to learn a bit, little bit more about materials and techniques for injection molding. Uh, all of these are free on their site, I believe, uh, including the book. I will provide a link in the description so you can check them out, and that is Proto Labs, formerly Proto Molds. Thank <laughs> you.